<laughs> hey, what is going on, crypto people? Happy, I don't know, is it Thursday? Yeah, it is. It's happy Thursday. Happy Talk That Talk Thursday. Wow, this is crazy. How crazy is this? What an exciting time to be an early adopter in this new asset class. This is a digital asset space. Ripple is going to be issuing their own stable coin on both the Ethereum blockchain and the XRP app. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Our guy, <laughs> our dude, Mickey B. Fresh, called it. He said, I think they're going to be issuing their own stable coin. He called it. He, <laughs> he called it. I guess he called it because he wasn't just wrapped up in things that are not important to the XRPL. <laughs> he called it. This is important to the XRPL. The stablecoin is, and they're going to use the auto bridging feature will be available, which essentially is a feature for, from, right, from the, for the XRPL that essentially gives you the better price, the best price for using the stablecoin using XRP as the bridge. XRP to the stablecoin will give you, quote unquote, the better price. And it's going to be fast and it's going to be quick, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy news, family. This is crazy news, and Mickey B. Fresh called it. I tell you guys all the time, all you got to do is just go over here, go to a new tab in your browser, okay? Just go to a new tab in your browser. I guess I can't, yeah. Go over here and you go to M-I-C-K-E-Y-B, as in the letter, fresh.com. You go there and you level up your IQ on the asset XRP on the on the XRPL of all things player as well futureverse you go there and you level up right it, this dude you, you you know for me I subscribe to his Patreon group where I learned about the fact that um he believed that the stable ripples next move was going to be its own stable coin this is where I got it this is why I learned it from hanging out with this dude, he does Zooms, his Patreon, his MBF Patreon group, my MB, Mickey B. Fresh Patreon group for sure. I'm telling you, this is where you go. This is where, well, I'm doing this and I'm not even sharing my screen. What's the, what the world? What's going on? What's going on? Crypto Siege. Here it is right here. Here it is right here. It's MickeyBFresh.com. This is where you're going to go to level up. I'm telling you, on all things Flare, all things Songberg, all things Ripple XRP. It was very well put out. He got a blog as well. Very thoughtful, very insightful. Dude is this is his thing. Dedicated research and develop researching into with all things flare, all things ripple XRP. And he called it uh in his Zoom, he called it in, in, in his videos, he calls it in his blog that Ripple was going to do its own stable coin. Way before everyone else. Or I mean, or you could draw, I mean, or you could join the, you know, the not so free freedom zone. Where if you if you if you um, propose an opposing view, you're out. No questions asked. Kick you out the freedom zone, just like that. According to someone who got kicked out of the freedom zone for offering an opposing view, it's up to you. You got to make your own decisions. You got to make your own decision. So this is this. I'm telling you, this is just some good stuff. Join MickeyBeFresh.com. Highly encourage. Highly encouraged if you want to level up your stuff. You, I mean, there's tons of information in here. Tons of information here. His Patreon is great because he does the Zooms and stuff. And you can you can kind of go back and forth, ask some questions. He does tutorials. Really, really good stuff. Really, really highly recommended for sure. So what's going on, Pookie Pookie? Yeah, man, this is some good stuff right here. Uh, some good stuff coming from Ripple. What? Let's. Where is this thing I hear let me share this. Now, let me go over the numbers real quick. Let's go over the numbers, and then we're going to share this incredible news. <laughs> XRPL is get is going to get fired. The XRPL pookie pookie, you one thousand percent correct. It's 1,000% correct. What's going on, Jay Corn? 
So Ripple XRP has finally been co-opted by the government. What happened to all the auntie stablecoin news from Brad Kimes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Ripple has their own stablecoin, and it's uh, apparently it's not XRP. <laughs> It's not XRP. I I don't know if dude's gonna be able to recover. I don't know. I don't I don't know. It's not XRP, right? It's own stable point, and uh, the auto bridging is gonna be taken advantage of XRP. So instead of trading, you know XRP for stablecoin, Ripple stablecoin, the auto bridging. If you, you do the auto bridging thing, it's gonna find you the best price. Uh, which is interesting. It's a unique feature. So, so excited about that. So excited about that. Let me go over the numbers real quick because the, the, the numbers part here is going to be boring. Obviously, let me refresh. Bitcoin 67. Now, is that up or down? I guess it's up because I think it went down to 65. All right. So let's share, let's share this real quick. Let me share this. Go over these numbers real quick with your fam so you can see. There it is. According to CoinGecko, the total cryptocurrency market cap is uh, $2.68 trillion. That was down from the video I did last night. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is 49.8%. Uh, Bitcoin is trading at 67680 Ethereum is trading at $3,374. Uh, Solana is trading at $187. And XRP is trading at $0.59. Cents. I guess that's up because it was $0.57. Cents. Uh, the uh, the other day, pay attention to the RWA narratives, the AI narratives, and the uh, gaming narratives. Pay attention to them for sure, because they're going to be big time, big time, big time. That's the market, fam. It's doing what it freaking does, just ranging right now. Let's go over to the Ripple page here. This is some good stuff. This is some stuff. Good stuff. Uphold stud breaking. Ripple announces plan to launch a U.S. dollar backed stable coin natively on the XRP ledger and uh, there. I mean, this is massive news. Bitstamp did the same thing. The future of crypto is multi chain. Ripple just announced plans to launch a USD backed stable coin natively on the XRPL and Ethereum. Looking forward, looking forward to seeing another high quality stable coin. Join the market. This is from Bitstamp. Question. USDC, Circle. Does Circle need more people building on Ethereum? Does Circle need more people, which means more devs, building on Ethereum? Uh, the circle not need Paraswap and Uniswap and Sushi Swap. What kind of business model would Circle have without those? David Schwartz talks about it all the time about how we need each other. We need more of each other. How? Tell me about Circle's business model. If there isn't Uniswap or Sushi Swap. Or Paraswap. Tell me about it. Tell me what it's looking like. What is it looking like if this this circle, but there are no projects out there that would like to leverage circles stablecoin? So this nonsense that you, the XRPL doesn't need more developers is about the dumbest thing ever said. It's the dumbest thing ever said. Ever. I mean, I mean you, 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 you know, you've got to think for yourself, I suppose. So here it is. Ripple put this out. <clears throat> I'm trying to see what do I want to cover first. Brad responding. Let's do this right here. Ah. <sighs> The stablecoin market is booming around, uh, this is from Ripple, the stablecoin market is booming around $150 billion today and projected to soar to $2.8 by 2028. There's a clear demand for trust, stability, and utility. That's why later this year, we're launching a stablecoin pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the U.S. dollar 
on the XRP ledger and Ethereum. And here's the article here. I mean, I don't read the articles. This is basically from the article. Let's go to the article. Basically from Ripple, the leading provider of enterprise blockchain and solutions, da, 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 the stablecoin market. I just read that. Uh, yeah. To meet this growing demand, Ripple will issue a stablecoin leveraging its decade plus of experience building real world financial solutions <clears throat> for institutions around the world. This is a natural step for Ripple to continue bridging the gap between traditional finance and crypto. Said Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO, institutions entering this space are finding success by partnering with compliant crypto native players. And Ripple's track record and resi resiliency speaks for itself. As we launch new products and acquire companies <laughs> through multiple market cycles, this move is also monumental for the XRP Ledger community. You know the ones who just, you know, that community says, you know, retail is just along for the ride. It's, it's you know. Driving more use cases, liquidity, and opportunity for developers. Hold, hold on a second. I thought we didn't need more development. And users. At launch, the stable coin will be available on the XRP Ledger and Ethereum blockchains, which plans to expand to, uh, with plans, I should say, with plans to expand to additional blockchains and decentralized finance protocols, and apps over time. Issuing our stablecoin, this is another quote-unquote here, issuing our stablecoin on the XRP Ledger, it's probably David Schwartz, but Elvis Monica Long, XRP Ledger and Ethereum will serve as a pivotal entry point to unlock new opportunities for institutional and DeFi use cases across multiple ecosystems, added Monica Long, Ripple President. The XRP Ledger's native capabilities including a decentralized exchange and automated market maker. Think about it. Stablecoin native to the ledger with the decentralized DEX and the central limit order book and the AMM all native to the XRPL. This is what we need. This is what we got. Bringing a trusted stablecoin on to XRPL will drive a will drive more adoption and development. That's right. The devs find out there's a stable coin here. This liquidity is going to be users. Hopefully those participating and, and have let, you know, loosen the death grip on their ledger nanos, contributing to a vibrant ecosystem. Let's go. <laughs> let's freaking go. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, Ripple's got some interesting stuff. All right, so this move um, extends Ripple's reach into both institutional and DeFi realms, diversifying use cases and enhancing what realms? DeFi. Who's in DeFi? You and I. Diversifying use cases and enhancing our payments infrastructure to bring the worlds of traditional and de decentralized finance closer together. I love it. Ripple stablecoin will be 100% back by U.S. dollar deposits, U.S. government bonds, and cash equivalents. And Ripple pledges transparency with monthly third-party attestations, Ooh, ensuring trust and reliability. Look, for every Google, there's a Yahoo. Right? It's just the way it is. Tether's going to have to make their own decision on being more transparent because that's really kind of the big or not. They kind of got a little bit better about other things. But really, the biggest knock is going to be their transparency and what they really got back. You, you, see, uh, uh, you're going, you see a little bit of less Tether and more USDC, a little bit. Tether's still the king. But this transparency narrative is going to be out there. It's going to be out there. It's going to be out there. It's going to be out there. And um, here's what I know. Uh, once we get the stablecoin legislation through, 
you know, U.S. companies with stable coins is just going to be getting the it's going to be getting the old blessing, going to be getting the you know getting getting the nod, right? And then when we get publicly traded companies, okay, issuing these U.S. dollars, you, you see what I'm saying? This is where the nod's going to go. This is where the market. This is going. That's when it's going to start to happen. This is when it's going to start to happen. So shout out to Ripple. A project leveraging uh, the X, uh, asset XRP and the XRPL. Shout out to them for doing this. This is going to be massive. He got Bitstamp comment getting on there too, which, which is really, really great. I love it. He said, third-party attestations ensuring trust and reliability. Stable coins serve as a pitiful, pivotal entry into DeFi and in introducing a trusted enterprise-grade stable coin to the XRP ledger will generate more use cases. Look, here's the challenge. When you get a high quality product, right? I don't know why this seems to be so light, but when you get a high quality project, the users will decide whether it's whether they want to be on the XRPL to get their stable coin or if they want to be on Ethereum. The, the user will decide. What will be the differences? It would be speed. It's going to be cost. Right, liquidity. There's going to have to be liquidity, right? But the users, you and I, will get to decide. And if if key features like uh, the the AMM and this auto bridging make differences, that's where they're going to be. And again, we say this on our channel all the time: Who does? Who does? Move anything of value in three to five seconds for less than a penny. Who who does who who does that really sound great to? Institutions. Institutions. When they when they're moving a bunch of stuff, how are they going to know that this is safe and this is trustworthy and this is reliable? How are they going to know from people actively using it? Who are those people? It's it's you and I. It's you and I. This thing is going to have to be tested. I said before, I humbly submit that the XRP ledger hasn't been tested yet. It, that testing is going to come from you and I. That's how it works. That's how it works, man. Uh, I love it. I love it. Stablecoin service is a pivotal entry in inducing trusted enterprise grade stablecoin to the ledger will generate more use cases. Liquidity. And opportunity for developers. Look at that. They're saying, hey, developers, more developers, come. They're not saying we don't need developers. Careful who you listen to. Careful <laughs> careful not to join freedom zones that aren't freedom zones. Just be careful. Simultaneously, we know the future of crypto is multi-chain. Launching this stable coin on both the XRPL and Ethereum opens doors to cross-chain interoperability. Ripple's move into stable coins isn't just about innovation. It's about contributing to the XRPL ecosystem and setting the stage for a more robust and diverse crypto landscape. Good stuff. This is good stuff. Brad Garlinghouse has something to say. Launching a stable coin is a natural step for Ripple as we bridge the gap between traditional and crypto. We have one. We have one the years of we have one the years of experience and two regulatory footprint. Three, a strong balance sheet, <laughs> and four, a network with near global payout coverage to offer the best of crypto enabled payments. Using XRP and our future stablecoin together. Together. There it is. That's a bold statement. I love it. Reassuring for sure. Without question, I'm going to get back to the chat here in a second. David Schwartz, let's read Dave, what David Schwartz says. I think it's I think it's great that Brad is saying that XRP uh, like that for sure. 
uh, and stable coins. Because again, this auto bridging, I think is going to be significant once these features get recognized throughout the digital asset space, which is auto bridging is going to use XRP and the feature auto bridging as opposed to just kind of swapping and trading. The features, the, 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 the next level innovation on the XRPL makes the difference. On the XRPL makes a difference to XRP holders. And that's what we want. We want products that make a difference to, for us as XRP holders. That's what we want. We want products that make a difference to the XRP holder, not to shareholders. <laughs> A high quality USD stablecoin on the ledger with its decentralized exchange and features like issued currencies, auto bridging, and it's got parentheses, auto bridging that uses XRP as the native currency to facilitate, to facilitate trades between other assets. And the automated market maker will be a game changer. Look at this, another one for users and developers. The, Brad, both, and David talking about developers. We need more developers. Again, I give an example. How well would USDC be doing without Uniswap and without Paraswap and without SushiSwap? Just to name an example. Just a few. What if those devs just... Just didn't build anything. Of course you need more devs. Be careful who you listen to, fam. Be careful. All right, let's see here. This is some good stuff. Oh, all the fam. Legendaries in the building. The Blue Ranchers are here. What's going on? All right, let me make sure I miss anybody. Mool Shu 05. How are you, my friend? What if Ripple was built on high of a video that you might take a time to watch? What if Ripple was built on IBM Stellar? Ripple? Joe Bud, the XRP stablecoin will be on both XRPL and uh, ETH. It's because bridging is coming. Joe, what's going on, Joe? Ripple is pulling off. Yeah, auto bridging is a massive thing. And they're going to have, um, uh, you know, the the amendment uh, go through with Pierce's technology, just, you know, doing their thing as well with that cross-chain bridge. So I love it. Yes, it is correct. What Ripple, what Ripple is doing is 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 amazing. I, we don't know what they're going to do with that escrow, but you need projects. You can't just have one project on the XRPL. You you need more than just one project because you want to create network adoption. It's not about just the TVL. It's about network adoption. One project with, I promise you, I've been on all these platforms, projects, and in, in, in ecosystems. One project with all TVL will not create network adoption. Network adoption is the goal. Network adoption is the goal. You create network adoption of the XRPL. And if, you, if projects are looking around and they just see one project, then it's not going to cut it. They, they want to see an ecosystem of users. Ripple's primary, primary, what do I want to say? Primary customer is not the XRP holder. It's institutions. The digital asset space is made up of retail users. It's made up of retail users. You want a bunch of retail on the XRPL with different projects like Anodos, like Dexfi.pro, like Orchestra Finance. That's how you create network adoption. You don't create network adoption with institutions. Just ask the people from Bitcoin and Ethereum and Solana. They don't have any institutions primarily using their blockchain. They don't have, they don't have that. That's the difference. That's how it wins. Felix Odess says, in my opinion, AMM canceled. Um, well, I think what happened is they lost the necessary amount of votes. So now it has to be reintroduced again. I think is what, what happened there. Felix Odette, what's going on, Crypto Roger? Felix Odette, uh, name of the stablecoin, don't know. 
but it's not apparently it's not XRP because you got to use XRP. So you know the whole thing about XRP stablecoin thing. You, you, you remember all that talk about that? Well, apparently it's not XRP because they're going to be using XRP uh, in the auto bridging as a way to leverage the stablecoin. So huge news for XRP and the price is almost doing nothing. <laughs> That's right. Again, another massive amount of news and nothing's going on. Why? Why do you think that is? Massive news, nothing going on. What's on the XRPL? What's on there? Tell me about the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten communities that are excited about it, that have their product. Whether it be a swap, whether it be a, a decentralized exchange, whether it be a perpetual um, exchange, whether it be about a, a money market, whether it be about um, a, a yield aggregator. Where are the projects? In those communities, where are the projects and those associated communities to be excited about? It, it, it's not there. So what good does it do with these institutions and these banks and all this stuff? What's going on? We'll see. We'll see. Past experience in the digital asset space has said, has proven, it's not my opinion, it's proven Ethereum was not built out with banks and institutions. Neither was Bitcoin, for sure. Solana was not built out for, for Solana holders, for Ethereum holders, holders of Ethereum, for Bitcoin holders of the asset. That's what we're talking about, right? Their price appreciation came from network adoption. That's how it happens. That's how it happens. Ripple pivoted to institutional DeFi once they discovered and learned from themselves firsthand from banks. Yeah, we're really not that interested in payments. That's what David Schwartz said that the banks said to them. Yeah, you know, we're really not that interested in payments. Ripple pivoted, not that they dropped the cause, not that they dropped the goal. They pivoted to let's do some stuff on the XRPL. Remember, ODL ain't cutting it. ODL is foo foo. It's foo foo. You no, know, there's no price movement going on. <laughs> right? There is no demand for the asset. Remember, network adoption. By way of products and community, uh, by projects and community, create network adoption of the blockchain of the XRPL, which creates, which then creates demand for the native asset, storage demand, demand for the native asset of the blockchain. That's what we want. And it's coming. We're playing catch up for sure, but it's coming, coming, but with, with unique features like native. Stablecoin natively on the XRPL with unique features like an AMM uh, and a DEX native to the XRPL. It can be a game changer, but it's going to require a participation from you and I with proper portfolio management, not aping into a particular thing, right? Not chasing the game, letting the game come to you, right? But participating is going to happen. You know, let's see. Joe Joe says the AMM with now an XUSDC bridging uh, ERC twenty and XRPL is huge. It's massive. It's massive because again, the retail person okay, I get it, but these devs who know the difference, the, who know the um, the advantages of an AMM. Uh, that does things different, the new innovative AMM, uh, who know the difference between um, auto bridging as opposed to just regular trading and or swapping, who know these unique differences, who who who, who, who understand the value of 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, who people understand that. Those people are going to be rushing to build. And that's what we need. Rod Nando Break is in the building. How are you? Appreciate you checking in today, my friend. All 
Let's see. I'm checking this uh, uh, chat here. XRP going places, liquidity. Yeah. Jaycorn says, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Brad Kimes just sold his soul and now he can't get out and has to go with the narrative. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So, in any case, this is great news. I wanted to bring this to you guys because, uh, listen, this come in, in, launching the stablecoin is going to be uh, it's going to be massive for sure. I, and I'm excited because we each get to do our very own part, do our own part in helping to create network adoption of the XRPL. Right? We get to do our own part, right? We don't have to wait for institutions. We don't have to wait for banks. We can do our part to make it happen. Again, we got to see what's going to happen when the AMM gets uh, reintroduced again for voting um, and um, or when they get that vote, the yays back up to the percentage that they need. We're going to see what's going to happen with this AMM again. But, uh, you know, this is a start. This is the start of a lot of great things. And again, Mickey B. Fresh called it. You know, Mickey B. Fresh called it time and time again. He says, I think Ripple is going to create their own stablecoin. They're going to come out with their own stablecoin. Mickey B. Fresh. I'm telling you, go to MickeyBFresh.com. <laughs> be, you know, be careful of not so free freedom zones. You know, where, you, where again, where you offer an opposing view, and you get kicked out immediately without question, without any questions. Be careful of that stuff. So this is cool, cool, cool. This is really, really great to see. Let me see if there was something else. Um, let's see, David and Brad. Yeah, that was it. It's interesting that Uphold and Bitstamp <laughs> put their little two cents in on that. But that is awesome, 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 awesome to see. Awesome, awesome, awesome to see. And... Uh, will institutions, remember they're talking about institutional DeFi, will they come? Yes, they will come, but they're going to certainly um, going to want not just the regulatory clarity, but they're going to want the stress test. They're going to want to know that this thing's not going to break. They want to know that it's, you know, hack proof. They're going to want to know all of this stuff. And the way it works is we're first to check it out. It's the way it works. And we'll be incentivized to be there to check it out, right? You know, Ripple is going to incentivize Ripple X. They're going to have a certain, certain incentivization program for hopping and on the XRPL for leveraging the AMM, taking advantage of Orchestra Finance, Anadose Finance, and Dexfi.pro for just to name a few. Money market is certainly going to come. You know, all these things are going to come to the XRPL. But it, if you think an institution is going to put 10 or 15 or 20 billion on something that is new, you are kidding yourself. They ain't going to do it. They are not going to do it. They're going to wait for the stress tests. The stress tests. <laughs> They're going to wait for the stress test, right? And that's, you know, that's you and I. And we'll be incentivized to help stress test it. That's test it. That's how it works. That's how it works, baby. So I'm really, really excited about that. But we'll be first. We'll be first in, um, you know, a pretty awesome pools. We'll be first in pretty awesome money markets. We'll be first. And that's an exciting thing. It's great, I think. Uh, Bab uh, Baba Papa? One says, Mickey B. Fresh is a legend. He recommended your channel to me. Oh, thank you, uh, Baba One. I appreciate you checking in, my friend. Appreciate you checking in. Yeah, guys, do me a favor and hit that like button. It definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm. We want to try to get uh, just as many likes as we have viewers in the stream. And we want to get this channel out to more people, right? Because, again, 99.99% .99 of the masses don't know what's going on right now. An opportunity for you and I to choose our own money, choose where we store our money, and choose the monetary policy that we believe is best for us, as opposed to having some monetary policy thrust down our throats. That's what the digital asset space offers. That's the opportunity that it offers. And we need to let more and more people know. You know, sometimes you can't tell your bud. Sometimes you got to recommend to go check someone out. <laughs> Third party, baby, right? So I'm excited, man. Big news, big news. Thank you so much, guys, for checking in. Uh, for sure, I wanted to hop on here real quick and share. I, I just checked on my worm, wormhole airdrop. It's saying I'm not eligible. I'm confused by that. But anyway, 
we'll, we'll, we'll look into that uh, some more. I got a couple of RWA plays that I'm researching that I'm going to share with you guys. I'll share with the Patreon group first at uh, patreon.com forward slash GWW mastermind. If you're interested in joining that, I appreciate you guys checking in. Joe, I appreciate you being here. Baba Papa one, Moo Shoe, legendary J Corn. I appreciate you guys checking in. Rodwell, Brega, Felix. I appreciate you being here. Looking good and doing it. I missed you checking in, buddy. I appreciate you doing it. AMM plus USDX equals boom. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Let's see what they're going to name this staple coin for sure. Crypto Roger, Pookie Pookie. I appreciate you guys checking in uh, this afternoon. Stay tuned later. I'll be doing that talk, that talk Thursday uh, later on this evening for sure. All right, fam. So there it is. I'm going to end this live stream like I do all of my live streams and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I, <laughs> we are already winning. And I would ask you to consider this, perhaps ponder the idea or notion of living your life permissionless. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.